Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Couch. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with a really unique name. That's right. I think it's unique. These guys are really good. Zebra just got here today. Take a bow, Zebra. He wanted a buddy to go with him, though. They, they agreed that they would come and hang out with me together. All right, well, guys, if you're new to this, just so you know, we got to do the checklist. Got to make sure we got everything in order before we get all comfortable in bed tonight. And boys and girls, I hope you had a fantabulous. That's right, I said fantabulous. It's a mixture of a couple of words or two. Day today. I hope your Friday, because today is Friday, um, was great for you. I hope uh, school went well for you and that you did something fun and exciting and brand new. You learned something different. You learned something exciting. You learned something worthwhile today and that you experienced something memorable. And boys and girls, I hope that your dinner, I hope you've had a great dinner and your bellies are full and satisfied. And I hope you had good connection with your family, conversation with your family. I hope that you collaborated together, you talked to each other, you exchanged ideas, expressed your feelings towards each other and how you felt yourself, just in general, how you were feeling today. It's important to have that connection. Remember, boys and girls, you want to talk to your family, not at your family. So here's a suggestion. I haven't made it before, and I'm making it now. So it's better to start, better late than never. Try not yelling through the house. Try going directly to whom you want to speak to. Get in the same room with them. Get in the same space. Get an ear shot where you can talk to them and not the whole world at the same time. So you're not addressing like an arena of thousands of people. You're simply talking to the person you need to talk to. Try that. That's important. All right, boys and girls, what about those chores? Did you do your chores yet? Chores, yes. Just tasks around the house. You know, things that need to be done. It is a teamwork effort and you are on team family. Please do not forget that your family is the first team you're ever a part of. And it's the best team you're, you'll ever have. So, work together. Help each other. Do your part. And don't be poopy and pouty about it, okay? No being poopy and pouty, all right? Make sure those bedrooms are clean. And that's for your sake. That doesn't mean even for anybody else. When you go to bed tonight, boys and girls, hopefully your room is clean and you can get in bed, be comfortable, and know that when you get up in the morning, your room is clean. So you start your new day off with a clean room. And how about that homework, that academic practice? Yes, I call it academic practice because you don't have to have an assignment from your school teacher, okay? No one has to give you the task. You want to exercise that big, beautiful, brilliant black brain of yours okay or big beautiful brilliant brain of yours okay and you want to be willing to learn something new because life is learning every day daily okay now how about family time spending family time special time spent doing something together and with the family not necessarily leaving the house you're at home for the evening maybe you watch a movie together maybe you play board games word searches coloring drawing pictures making up stories reading books i can go on okay creating something cool some type of arts and crafts type thing listening to music together dancing together practicing helping each other with of course we know the chores the homework just anything you want to work on do it as a family do it together now don't forget pick out those pjs what you plan on wearing for tomorrow as well so that you're ahead of the game your morning will be a lot easier without having to worry about i wonder what i'm gonna wear today you can do that 
tonight so when you get up in the morning you already got that taken care of and you know also prepare your backpacks and your lunches so that when you walk out the house you're not forgetting anything that you need at school oh don't forget to take those baths and those showers so that your bodies are clean from head to toe you already know and then when you dry off with your towel make sure you put on lotion so your skin can be soft and smooth okay and don't forget to wash your hair, comb your hair, wrap up your hair, tie it up, braid it up, twist it up, whatever you need to do for your hair. And then don't forget to brush your teeth, floss your teeth, and rinse out your mouth. Take about three minutes to do that, too, for the toothbrushing alone. Be thorough. And then split that last minute and a half for 30 seconds of flossing and up to 30 seconds of gargling and rinse. You might only need 10 for that. But be thorough is all I'm saying. Don't rush that time. It's only three minutes. Hello? This is, you're not in a hurry. So make sure you do a good job. Then your dentist can smile and say good job. Okay? Um, don't forget to eat, 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 eat. Clean your ears and uh, uh, clean out your nose if you need to. Y'all know all the sinuses, the allergies, act up this time of year. We get a little congested and stuffy. So sometimes we need to address the nostrils and keep those ears clean so you can hear good, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, don't forget to use the bathroom one last time before you get comfortable in bed. Hopefully you don't have any nighttime interruptions. You don't have to get up. You can dream your special dream uninterrupted, all right? Turn those night lights on, though, boys and girls. Turn on the night light. It's not, it doesn't even have to be, oh, I'm afraid of dark. Nah, it just needs to be, well, I don't want to turn on the brightest lights and possibly wake others up just because I need to go to the bathroom. It could just be, I just need to guide myself through the house quietly and go use the bathroom and then slide back on in bed without waking everybody up and startling everybody and interrupting everybody else's special dream time, okay? So, hey, it's okay to have a night light, a couple of night lights in the hallways or whatever, just to navigate. Turn them on. And don't forget to read a book. Have a book read to you. Make up a story. Talk, affirmations, pray, whatever you need to do. Connect with your family one last time before you drift off to dreamland. And, of course, we need to show our affection. I love yous, hugs, kisses, and smooches. Just to tell our family members, our pets, if you got friends visiting or other relatives, show them love one last time before everybody goes to sleep. Get your cuddle buddies ready. You don't need a lot of them because you want to make sure that you have the room in your bed to comfortably move if you need to as you rest. Get you a couple, one or two, two, one or two will do, okay? All of like C5 can't fit in my bed. Y'all see them? That's a lot of them, okay? They out here. They And the dog just, he just, oh my goodness, let me get me up. Yeah, get, get, get he just be falling asleep and just be laying all over the couch. This is why you can't have a lot of cuddle buddies in the bed. They take up too much space. All right. With that being said, don't forget to say your prayers. As you settle down for the night, make sure that you pray and thank our creator for everything that you have. Okay? Say your prayers. Very important that you do that. Seal the night with an important prayer. That, you know, make that happen. I'm checking off the checklist. Check, check, any check, 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 check. Oh, hold on. Before I finish the checklist, if you have vitamins or medicine or special equipment that you need to use to help you while you're sleeping and assist you in that manner, please make sure that you don't forget to do that. That's very important. Now let me finish off this list here. Check, 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 any check, check. Bam. We good. We were on a roll there. Let's get right to the story. Tonight's story is entitled. You are sweet and delicious. Chocolate me. Tay Diggs, illustrated by Shane W. Evans. Okay. On the back it says, chocolate you, chocolate me. Um, the boy is teased for looking different. His skin is darker. His hair is curlier. His nose is bigger than everyone else's. The boy is chocolate. He wishes he looked like the other kids. For everyone who has ever felt different, who has wished to be someone else, here is a celebration of how sweet and lovely and delicious you are. 
<laughs> with this universal themes of wanting to fit in, self-acceptance, and self-esteem. This read aloud is sure to strike a chord with many young readers, listeners, and on a variety of subjects, not just race, school, library, journal. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. This is going to be a good one, guys. Then it says, Tay Biggs can act and sing, and now he proves he can write. Shocked with me, embraces a different topic with white arms. Essence magazine symbols. All right, Tay Diggs, that's right, because he is an actor. Diggs is really cool. Look out for the cupcakes. Look out, it's the cupcakes. There's a bunch of them. <coughs> Too late to eat them, though. Chocolate me. I'm excited to read this one. Sitting on my stoop when I was five, not like Timmy and Johnny or even Mark, though I wanted a name like theirs. Chocolate me. Beautiful. That says be super on his shirt. When we play, they say, look where you, where your skin begins. It's brown like dirt. Does it hurt to wash off chocolate me? Yep. They often stared at my hair. Why do you look scared? It's so poofy and big. Like a wig, not straight. Don't you hate to comb it? So they got a lot of curious questions about the young man, don't they? And you may have been in this situation before. And this applies to you. Chocolate me. You can relate. As they pointed at my nose, I froze. It's so big and wide, I tried to hide. Yeah, see, once you understand, you know, everything will be all right. Gotta have understanding. Chocolate me, and he is number one. Look at that. Got the shirt saying number one. Yes, indeed. Number one, son. I squirmed and wiggled as they giggled at my teeth so white. You can be our flashlight at night. Just smile and we'll be all right. Chocolate me, which is not a bad thing because I sit here and tell you guys to brush your teeth, brush your teeth, and brush them. So they should be white. Shoot. Okay. When I came in from outside, I cried. Why? I asked my mom. Why can't I be more like Timmy or Johnny or Mark with straight hair and a different nose? I suppose my teeth wouldn't seem so bright. If my skin were a bit more light, right? Chocolate me. Yeah, he should not feel bad about the skin that the creator gave him. He is created perfectly and wonderfully made. And then my mom said, wait one minute, my sweet. Can't you see? You have skin like velvet, fudge, frosting mixed in a bowl. You can lick the spoon. Cotton candy hair soft to the touch of my fingertips or braid it like rows of corn with a twist. And your smile, she says, makes me so happy I could cry. No amount of money could buy how it makes me feel. For real, it's perfect. And that's the absolute truth. That ain't just mommy trying to make them feel better. She telling them the truth. Mommies will tell you the truth. And Mother's Day is coming up. Boys and girls, make sure you love on your mothers. Look, she says, look in the mirror and love what you see. And she said that right. Love exactly what you see. Give yourself affirmations. Tell yourself how beautiful you are because you actually are. Believe it. Chocolate me. And his shirt says, chocolate me. I love it. Hmm. 
I stared, I started to think about my face, my skin, my nose, my fro. Chocolate me, all cupcakes, all cupcakes. That's right, love on yourself, boys and girls. You are beautifully, wonderfully, and uniquely, and masterfully made. Yes, you are. And what do you know? Along came Timmy and Johnny and Mark, who suddenly didn't seem so smart. And I started to smile and smile and smile. I felt so good I could taste it. Why? Because I am chocolate me. Those affirmations, you have to give yourself those affirmations, boys and girls. Get to the nearest mirror. Look at yourself. During dinner conversation, give affirmations to each other. Remember, your family is beautiful. You are a part of an excellent unified unit. So celebrate it. Chocolate is sweet. Chocolate is smooth. Chocolate is beautiful and delicious. Chocolate is me. Chocolate me, says his shirt. And no diss to the vanilla, okay? Just throwing that out there. But you need to love yourself as well. I say the chocolate me. I'm more caramel, caramel, but that's okay. I love me just the same. There go those cupcakes again. Ooh, wee! Cupcakes, cupcakes. Uh-huh. Cupcakes, cupcakes. Uh-huh. Love this look. I like it. Thank you, Tay. Thank you, Mr. Tay D. Okay. All right. I see you out there. All right, boys and girls. That is it. Listen, that was a beautiful, inspirational story that you should love and believe in yourself. High self-esteem. Embrace your self-confidence. Be uniquely you. Every person is an individual, a one of a kind, even if you're a twin, a triple it, a quadruple it, a quintuple it, a decatuple it. I went all the way to the tens, and there's no such thing as that. Oh my God, rare as it is. Anyway, boys and girls, um, it is that time where you get to dream your special dream. So get in bed, comfy, cozy, snug as a bug in a rug. These guys are excited. All right, because they couldn't sit still hardly, but I made them. They had to hold it in. Wiggle it out. Anyway, you're in bed. You're safe. You're sound. Right where you need to be. Remember, declutter those beds. Don't have no Lego blocks. No crayons. No Jenga blocks from a game. Nothing crazy in your bed. No books. No hardcover books or nothing like that. Space. Just you, your sheets, your blankets, your cuddle buddies, your pillows, the mattress. Okay? Space. For you to relax. And close your eyes. The best part. Whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Dream about you being who you uniquely are and loving every moment of it, okay? That's just a suggestion. You dream what you want to dream. This is the best part. And allow your body to just drift off to sleep so you can dream your special dream. All right, boys and girls, get to it because I know you can do it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.